Hey everybody, it's me and it's time for another tutorial. But this video is a little special because I'm doing a collab with Yana. Check her version out, it's the bomb. I will leave a direct link to her channel or to her video below in the information box and make sure you go check her video out. <laughs> the theme of our tutorial mainly are gray tones in our eye look or eyeshadow look and then a nude lip. Gray is a universal color, everybody can rock it, whether it's a dark gray or a light gray, what have you. Uh, I personally think everybody can rock a gray eye makeup look, so that is what I'm doing for you guys today. Also, I quickly want to mention that I was supposed to do a couple collab videos last year, but uh, due to my health, I was not able, or like my private life and my health, uh, I was not able to do those, which I am so, so mad about. I'm mad about the fact that I couldn't do them. But this year, I promise I will do more collaboration videos with you guys here on YouTube. So if you want to know how I did this look, then you know what you got to do. So first, I started with applying Urban Decay Primer Potion all over my eye. And for some reason, my eyelids were a little bit greasy. So I decided to use Painterly Paint Pot by MAC as a second base. Then to give myself an even canvas to work on, I'm going to use my Studio Fix Face Powder in NC45 and a Taper Blending Brush by Royal Langnickel and apply that in my crease using Windshield Wiper Motions. For my next color, I'm actually going to use a matte grey eyeshadow by the brand Diamond FX and I will be applying that with a Taper Blending Brush by Morphe. And just like I did before, I'm applying that in my crease with windshield wiper motions. The next eyeshadow I'm going to use is called Busted and you can find it in the Urban Decay Naked Palette 2. I will be applying that with a 239 eyeshadow brush by MAC. And I'm applying that all over my lid using stippling and swiping motions just so I can get the best color payoff. Next up, I'm going to use a matte brown eyeshadow by Diamond FX and I will be applying that with a pencil brush by Inglot. And first I'm going to apply that on my inner corner or tear duct area. And after that I'm going to apply it on the outer part of my eye. And once I was finished with that, I uh, used that same brush and same eyeshadow and applied it right underneath my lower lash line and smoke it out a little bit. Again, I'm using kind of windshield wiper motions to apply this eyeshadow. I just, I don't know, it's easier that way to blend everything. The next eyeshadow I'm going to use is called Morocco and it's by Anastasia Beverly Hills. And I will be applying that with a 217 blending brush by MAC. And all I'm doing is applying that on the outer part of my crease. So above that gray eyeshadow, just to give my eye a little bit more definition and some warmth. Next up, I'm going to use Puro Amour Autograph Pencil by Kat Von D and just line my lower waterline with it. The eyeshadow I'm going to use next is called Blackout and you can also find this in the Urban Decay Naked Palette 2. I will be applying that right underneath my lower lash line with another 239 eyeshadow brush by MAC. And I'm kind of smudging out that uh, eyeshadow and the eyeliner I applied before to give the look a smoky effect. Next, I'm going to use my Catrice Liquid Liner in Dating Joe Black and I'm quickly gonna apply my winged eyeliner. How big you make it? Well, that's up to you. <laughs> and now for the fun part, I'm going to use the Lit Cosmetics Clearly Liquid Glitter Base and mix that together with a little bit of their fully nude glitter in size 2 and then apply it on the center of my lid using a Morphe concealer brush. And don't worry if you go over the eyeliner, you can always reapply it. Or you can do the glitter first and then apply your winged liner or eyeliner. Okay, so now I'm going to apply my false lashes off camera. I'm going to use the Ardell Wispies and some lashes I have no idea <laughs> what brand they are and then I'm going to finish up the rest of my face. I do have a separate video on how I apply lashes listed below in the information box. So to warm up my face I'm going to use my trusty Mineralize Skin Finish Natural in Deep Dark by MAC and yeah just apply it the way I would apply my contour 
and I'm using a angled contour brush by Morphe for this. And moving on to contouring, this time I'm going to use the Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Kit and I'm mixing a little bit of Fawn and Java together and then apply my contour. Um, yeah, this time I just didn't want a very strong contour so that's why I chose the Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Kit. And I'm using a angled brush, another one, <laughs> by Morphe. So for my first highlight, I'm going to use an ambient lighting powder by Hourglass Cosmetics, and this one is called Radiant Light. And I'm applying that on the highest point of my cheekbones with just a cheap fan brush I got at a local store. <laughs> oh, I just love using these. Now I totally get the hype. Then for my second highlight, I'm going to use my trusty Whisper of Guilt Extra Dimension Skin Finish by MAC and apply that on the tip of my nose and on the bridge of my nose. And for this, I'm using a concealer brush by Royal Langnickel. For my blush, I'm going to use a powder blush by Milani and this one is called American Beauty Rose. And I'm going to use a powder brush by um, Morphe again to apply that first on the apples of my cheeks and then softly blending it up a little bit. Oh, and if you have some suggestions for new blushes that I should get, then leave them below in the comment section, because I'm dying to get some new blushes. Then for my lips, I'm going to use Sensual Sparks Lipstick by MAC and apply that on my lips. And once I've done that, the look is complete. Well, almost. I also have to put on my wig. <laughs> That was it for the tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, don't forget again to check out Yana's version of this collaboration. It's again listed below in the information box, so click on her link to see her video. As always, you can leave me questions below in the comment section, so don't hesitate if you have a question for me. If you want to follow me on my social media pages, then just type in Makeup by Namisa on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and Snapchat. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Thank you all so much for watching and until my next video, bye!